let's say you are given two options of people to vote for. And let's say option A is less evil and option B is more evil. Some people may say, well, obviously, vote for the person who is less evil, duh. I have a problem with that. If there is evil in option A and option B, why choose? Just because someone gives you only two options to choose from, do you have to choose? Why even participate in it, right? Okay. What if Satan and the spirit of lust comes to your country and tell you, okay, choose between us who you want to lead you all. Would you vote? So you have the option between Satan and the spirit of lust. You are only given two options. Would you choose? Would you vote? Well, since it is the spirit of lust, it is not quite as bad as Satan. So let's vote for lust other than Satan. What? If you are given two options between one is less bad or more bad or in general, both may be liars, cheaters, or whatever else. Why choose? Why choose? If you are given options, and if the options aren't good enough, why not raise someone up yourself, right? What if I vote for someone evil or less evil? And let's say that person is for abortion, homosexuality, you know, against every rule in the Bible. If I vote for that person, aren't I accountable of what that person does as well? Aren't I? If that person tells everyone, hey, I am for abortion, I am for rape, I am for this, I am for that, evil stuff, right? If I vote for that person, aren't I accountable of it? Aren't I? If that person passes laws, that I knew that he would or she would pass, won't I be to blame as well? Won't the blood be on my hands as well? Right? So if you are given two options to choose from and both options are bad, don't choose, don't vote, right? Let me say this too. Even if we had the best president in the whole wide world, would it matter? If the people of a country is choosing to do so much evil, would it matter who is the president? If you go in the Old Testament and
and know some of the things that happened to the nation of Israel, or should I say the children of Israel? I believe much of the time when they chose to go against God's rules, judgment happened, right? I believe you can pick the most intelligent, the most wise, the most experienced president ever. Ultimately, won't the people be judged, judged, if they choose to go against God's rules, right? So this is not so much a presidential presidential thing I believe this is more of a spiritual thing so please listen I think some people would die for a president won't follow God's rules all the way but will die for a human. What power does that human have? Where are your priorities? Priorities. Seriously. If the options are bad, don't vote, right? Because if you do, and if you know that person is evil, aren't you responsible for what that person does as well? I think so. Let me stop here.